Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday morning, and we finished the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, but there's another couple of verses here at the end of Galatians 5. Paul writes that those who belong to Christ Jesus, that's us, have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit, walk with the Spirit. So what do those verses mean, really, you know? Um, to crucify something, you know, it's hanging on a cross and it suffers and eventually dies. So we have crucified those passions and desires. We're trying to get rid of them. And if you look up at earlier part of the chapter, you'll see a long list of them. Um, things that we're all guilty of, hatred, discord, jealousy, rage, ambition, stuff like that, envy. Um, in addition to the more obvious sort of gross sins, there are these, these littler ones, and they're the ones that get in our, our souls and kind of hook in there and won't let us go. We can't get rid of them. Paul says we've crucified ourselves, the flesh, and so that stuff is gone or should be gone, or at least it's on its way to dying out. So we instead live by the Spirit, and the Spirit wants to produce this fruit in us. And the whole vision of this fruit is love and joy and peace, you know, and goodness and kindness and all that. And so uh, letting that fruit come forth from us, uh, letting the Spirit bear witness to Christ in us, all of that is what we are trying to do. If um, if we work together with the Spirit, and I think that's how this works, um, we work on the things that the Spirit points us to, and together with the Spirit's pushing us, uh, we take the steps necessary to to produce these fruits and to, to, to become these kind of people. Um, so we're working kind of synergistically with the Spirit. We're not working, we're not sitting back and letting God do everything. I think God calls us to faith and that faith is active and we do have a role in it. And so Paul says we live by the Spirit, so let us keep in step or walk with the Spirit. Um, not getting ahead of him, not lagging behind, but just walking along in step with the Spirit and doing what the Spirit leads us to do. And if we do that, then we will turn out to be um, the people that God calls us to be. See you tomorrow. <laughs>